A very good evening and welcome. Uh, this is Kafta News at 7. I'm Imano Ulububukun. And the news in details. The Niger Atomic Energy Commission, NAEC, has said that the country is more than ready for nuclear energy and that the country will go ahead to develop the nuclear power plant as it helps in areas of agriculture and technological investment. The acting chairman, Niger Atomic Energy Commission, Yusuf Ahmed, made this disclosure when the commission led a delegation from the Russian Federation on four up press briefing. Russian Federation said that nuclear energy will prevent greenhouse gas emissions, which are the main cause of climate change. Benedict Uku brings us more in this report. In 2017, Russia's state-owned Rosatom and Nigeria signed agreements for the construction and operation of the nuclear power plant which would be co-financed by Rosatom. This has gathered criticism from many Nigerians considering the high level of terrorism in the country, whether it would be used negatively. On Tuesday, the SGF guaranteed the government's readiness to work closely with the Nigeria Atomic Energy Commission in developing a nuclear power plant. Speaking on Friday in Abuja, the acting chairman of Nigeria Atomic Energy Commission, Yusuf Ahmed, said the country will go ahead with the project as it helps in the area of agriculture and technological advancement. The support Nigeria is uh, going to get from the Russian Federation includes, but not limited to only building nuclear power plants in Nigeria, but also peaceful applications in the field of uh, agriculture, health, uh, environment, medicine, and so on. And that may culminate into having a multipurpose research reactor complex that we envisage that will be built in the Federal Capital Territory in our nuclear technology center in Sheda. And in that multipurpose complex, there are auxiliary laboratories, uh, workshops, and facilities that can come along together. So it's a holistic approach to implementation of nuclear science and technology in Nigeria. At the end of the day, we are envisaging the fact that Nigeria will technologically jump itself into uh, science and technology that has to do with applications, have to do with fabrications. And we also envisage that the local industries in Nigeria will key in into the supply chain that will come up with these uh, giant facilities. Our understanding is that we are going to help in the clean energy processes, we are going to help in job creation, we are going to help in the promotion of the economy of Nigeria. The delegation from the Russian Federation of Rosatom said nuclear energy will prevent greenhouse gas emissions, which is the main cause of climate change. Annually, Russian-designed nuclear power plants prevent more than 210 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions, which is the main cause of climate change. Rosatom is happy to be here and to, to further our um, development with Nigeria, um, and we look forward to working with Nigeria to achieve their, their nuclear ambitions. Um, we also focus not just on um, nuclear assets, but also education. So I'm proud to say that there have been a number of Nigerian students that have received education in Russia to date. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we've had over 40 students in Russia and 20 of them have already graduated. Russian-Nigerian cooperation in the area of peaceful use of nuclear power seems to be gathering momentum. And the Nigerian government and Russian Federation has said that the country is more than ready for nuclear energy.